Hey everyone, it's Naomi, your desert sailor, in a very sunny backyard of my house, and I am working on my rudder today. And the uh, main issue is this big chunk. And of course, I'm going to get out all the pox and make it nice and smooth and reseal it and repaint it. So I'm going to get suited up and I'll see you soon. So now that I have worked a little bit and these pox here when I'm um, I mean that's pretty smooth now some of them are bulbous this one's bulbous hmm um, but then like that one these guys you know I can't I don't know what to do with that. How far down the rabbit hole do we want to go? <laughs> so this layer now, I've gotten it down to this layer, but look how many air pockets there are in the underneath layers. Well, I am not going that far. See, there's one that's poking out already. Wow, I'll do this one for sure. Yikes. Man, that's bad. And then that one, I'll fill in. And I think I am going to take this all off. One thing for sure is you go through a lot of these if you don't want to be pressing very hard. So I bought this entire thing here. And uh, actually I have quite a few left. Um, and with this kind of work, I am using the edge quite a bit to get really deep into the, the holes. I want to make sure that you line it up with the holes on the sander. I have to say, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but um, how great it is with the uh, vacuum cleaner because um, without it, it would be going everywhere and uh, getting those fine particles of fiberglass on your skin <laughs> or in your eyes or in your throat is terrible. So this is much better. Love the vacuum cleaner or the shop vac on this. <laughs> My birthday's coming up, so I think it's time that I get myself a Dremel tool because that's what I'm going to need to nicely work out all of these thingies. Yep. All right, let's sand the other side. Oh. Okay, that was like 48 minutes. Right here, this is where I think the water has seeped in much more. This side has no blisters. Yay! Okay, so I have discovered that these are blisters, and uh, thank you YouTube and Josh for showing me how to fix these, and sure enough, when um, I poked into this one, water came out. Uh, so, I don't really want to poke into those. 
And like I said, I don't know how far I want to go down this rabbit hole. This, all of this needs to come out so that we can have a clean surface to adhere the epoxy here. So this is what this, it looked like that pretty much. And now it's kind of beveled and going in. Okay, but that is it for me today. I need to go do a little more research and buy some materials to fill in those holes and to start making this thing ready to paint. All right, I've been at the boat yard for um, a few days and now I'm going to continue on on this rudder. So for my birthday, I bought myself a Dremel tool, which I've always wanted, and um, I'm going to Dremel these out, but I'm thinking that I'm going to have to be attacking more places on this rudder than I thought I had to. It's been sitting out here, kind of drying out, and uh, I'm noticing these drops of dirty water coming out of areas that, doesn't, that don't even look like they have cracks. And then also, kind of here, there's some seeping. videos, including my favorite boat works guy, and this is a little technique that I kind of learned from him, and it seems to be working. So, the idea is to try to get down to um, where it's like a smooth crater. So, see how I started this one? And there's still like this chunk, which is, you know, maybe a separated laminate um, and moisture possibly down in there. So here I got it down to, it's like drilling a tooth for a cavity. <laughs> I've got it down to a smooth surface and it doesn't look like there's any more moisture. And then I'm going to continue to try to get that one down as well. Okay, I switched to this um, type of nib on the Dremel. And uh, started going deep in and it actually went deeper than I thought. I chunked out the places that uh, some of that moisture, it looked like sap, <laughs> was coming out of. And um, now it's looking pretty rough. I might smooth this one down a little bit more just so that there's a better edge. And... Um, it looks pretty rough. Anyway, it's going to look much better when I'm done. Okay, of course this process is going to take a lot of steps, but um, what I am doing first is doing this entire edge, straight edge, including this shark bite on this side. Um, then, so glassing that with this system and then that's uh, five parts to one part, five to one. And then adding this in time to fill these in. So this and this and this. Oh man. Cut this out. <laughs> Cut this out. <laughs> Glad I speak English. another batch uh, to finish off that glassing and um, what was left over I've just started adding the 407 and the consistency is more like molasses and I want it like peanut butter so I'm going to add a little bit more.
right, a few days later, and this is all nice and hard and dried up. Um, my job on this side, see how it's sagging? I really hope I can um, sand that down and then probably have to refair or fill it in with glass, probably refair it. Like another coat type of thing. But before that happens, we're going to turn it over and start filling in this shark bite on the other side. Yikes! Actually, I forgot that this side has more of, of these pucks. Okay, my plan is going to be like I did the other day where I made um, a mix of this, um, double batch, and I'm going to just glass the ends here, getting ready for reinforcement, and then whatever's left over, add the um, powder to fill in these holes. I pre-measured these already. sure you buy lots of these disposable brushes because every time you do this you need a new brush. The biggest concern is not repeating what had happened with this rudder before and getting these air pockets in there. So Hopefully, with my roller and a lot of resin. Hmm. Come on, stay down there. Okay, I have filled this little scoopy pocket that was there, um, but I've also put a block under here so that it stays even, like it filled it out, and then um, see what happens after that dries and I sand it. Hopefully this is sandable, and then I overfilled those um, craters, they weren't too deep. Okay, it's the next day and I've let this whole thing dry and wow, look how smooth and shiny it is. It just kind of expands and I think this is going to work. So I have my sander hooked up to my new shop vac because the other one died. Hey, you know, don't worry about the attachment. You just can use tape <laughs> and it kind of holds on long enough. Okay, let's get sanding. Okay, sanded both sides and it's looking pretty good. So that other, this is the other side of the big pool of stuff. And as you can see, it's kind of, maybe you can't see, it's still dipping in. So I think I'm going to build that up like I did the other side. So working from the outside and layering thicker, so they kind of crossed and then crossed then crossed and now this la maybe second to last piece smaller and in the middle but crossing the others and kind of overshooting the edge because I can always send that down. It is starting to come up for sure. Maybe maybe another piece. Unfortunately I forgot to clean this Last time I used it, so it's stuck to the cardboard, and now I can't get that off. Oh, I had no idea that there was resin on these scissors, because now they're toast, too. <sighs> that is looking really good. It's a 
little bit over shot room to sand and then the filler will take care of the rest now that I know how well this uh, this stuff sands when it's dry um, I made a much thicker batch and I kind of overshot the edge not being too concerned about um, that it being even because I'll be able to sand it down and I did prop it up so it's not um, sagging down from gra gravity although it still is sagging yeah. need to prop that up even more Okay, we're going to let that dry and then um, come back tomorrow, hopefully, and sand it down and see where we're at. All right, here we are the next day, and there's a little bit of sagging there, but let's get this thing sanded down so we can do the other side. So you actually have to take off a lot of the stuff that you put down, which feels kind of weird, but um, looking at this now, uh, it looks rough on camera, but it's pretty smooth. Of the side. I've laid out all my pieces um, beforehand, nice and dry. I've uh, Done, going to be doing three layers of this one. One, so I'm just going to reverse them. Three, and I've mixed up my little batch, double batch of the resin. So this is the edge where the shark bite is, and we can see the fiberglass I laid from the other side, and so I want to reinforce that on the on this side. it built up I even reinforced the bottom again and the corners filled it in with the filler slash um, fairing compound and now I'm just gonna let that dry another one bites the dust